Hey guys, it's Dawn again, bringing you another dream that Father's called me to share. Uh, this one is real short, uh, so it won't take much. Um, this dream Father uh, gave me in 2013, <clears throat> and uh, it, in 2013, it was not time to talk about it yet, but it is time now. He's made it abundantly clear with peace in my spirit that it is now time to talk about it. Um, this dream is about destruction coming to New York City. Um, this dream, uh, Father has me walking through a pure golden hotel. Everything was pure gold. That's all that was in this hotel, just pure gold. So I'm walking through, I'm walking down the hallway to my room in this pure gold hotel, and I walk up to the double doors to my room, and I push open the doors, and apparently I had a suite. So I walk in, and in this suite... There were, surprising to me, there were about six young women in their mid-twenties with long blonde hair and poochy pregnant bellies. They had poochy little bellies. And um, at the time when I had this dream, I thought it was because of the work I was doing uh, for uh, pregnancy centers, uh, speaking for them. Um, but that wasn't it. I was wrong. Father showed me I was wrong. Boy, was I wrong. Um, but these women, these young ladies are in this room and, and I walk in and we all go towards the big picture window in our room. And you know, from the other dream that this means prophecy into the future, we look out the window and the wind, just the fierce wind and, and just this cutting rain, just, just this fierce wind and rain started. And cars are just being tossed, just tossed like a feather down the street. And people are being blown like rag dolls all through the streets of New York City. And when we looked out at the at the ground, we were we were kind of like on the third floor where you could still see the license plates of the cars that were just going tumped over like that. Um, there was a woman down below us, and she was in a summer dress. And she had a, a shoulder strap purse and she was holding on to the light post and she was really struggling. And the young girls in the room just started going crazy. They just started becoming, they were just going just maniacs, just screaming and crying. And what they were saying was, Miss Dawn, Miss Dawn, we have to help them. We have to help them. And what came out of my mouth was, sweethearts, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do now. This is judgment from a loving God to get his people's attention. That's all that I said. Um, so they're, I'm trying to console them. I'm trying to let them know that it's going to be okay in the end. Just, you know, sin has to be judged, that kind of thing. Um, so I leave the room for a second and I go down the hallway and I'm, I, I walk down to the end of the hallway and there is a set of double doors at the end of this hallway. And I push open the doors and there's this huge conference room surrounded by windows. And there are hundreds of meteorologists in this conference room and they are freaking out. They, it's, like the, it's like the floor of the New York Stock Exchange almost. They are papers flying. They're, they're I don't know what we're doing. What are we going to do? We've never seen this before. And uh, I'm just, I'm looking around the room and then, but I look past them through the window um, and I see in the sky, two tornadoes. I see two tornadoes headed towards the hotel and they're getting darker the closer they get. And I screamed out loud. I said, and there's two, I said, you're never going to figure out what's going on. And there's two more coming and there's nothing you can do about it. And I backed up and I closed the doors and I went back to the room where the girls were at. And that was the end of the dream. I will tell you that, you know, like I said earlier, when, when I was given this dream, that I thought the young gals were with the pregnancy care centers. No. The reason Father allowed that to be part of the dream was to show me that now is the time to be talking about this dream because right now Father has me uh, Titusing, you know, Titus 2, with the older women, biblically disciples, younger women, um, young females in their mid-20s with long blonde hair, but they have ministries 
that are about to be birthed. We are all walking the same path. I didn't know it was this path that we're on now, the restoration of Israel, but we are all walking the same path and they will be sharing what the ministry that, that to, to help with whatever the father's going to have birthed through them for him in ministry wise. So anyway, um, I do know quite a few uh, young sweethearts with long blonde hairs, hair that are uh, growing in father and, and, um, and are concerned about the judgment coming to this nation because they can see it. So anyway, father did not give me a time, did not give me a specific date. He didn't even tell me if it was a hurricane or a tsunami. He didn't tell me any of that. But destruction is coming to New York City. And if Father is putting in your spirit that you need to get out of New York City, for heaven's sakes, get out. I know it's a lot easier for me to sit here and say that than it is to do it, but start the process now. Do what you have to do to get out. Please, please consider yourself blessed to be forewarned about what's coming because you you do not want to be there when this happens. You don't. Um, even if you you leave and you want to come back. I, I don't know, but petition the father on what you're supposed to do, because if he's already putting in your spirit, please guys go to him and ask him, let this be confirmation that you need to go, but walk in wisdom, walk in peace, walk in direction uh, from him through the Holy Spirit, through the Ruach Pakadesh, ask him where and what you're supposed to do. So consider this a warning. So, okay, guys, well, that's it for this dream. It's about New York City, and um, and I, I just pray that you will heed the call if he's putting it on your heart. So let me bless you real quick. May Jehovah bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. May he lift up his countenance to you and be gracious unto you and give you his peace, his shalom from the throne through the Prince of Peace, Yeshua HaMashiach. And remember, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter but y'all know what? It is the honor of kings to search it out. So search him out while he still may be found. Consider yourself loved. Consider yourself warned about New York City. And I'm going to be talking to you soon about the Antichrist and another dream about the sixth seal that Father's given me that actually had an iron pen in it. And that was Jeremiah 17, the iron pen of Judah, the tribe of Judah. So I love you guys. Uh, walk in wisdom, walk in peace, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.